What's going on y'all? Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, there's no land nearby. We're out offshore again, out here on the bay boat. Got another special guest with me today, Mr. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Nathan Rich here. He's hooked up right now. I tried to get him to take the kayak out, but he just, he didn't want to follow me for some reason. I don't know. I guess his legs would get tired on the, uh, the pedals. Let's see what he's got over here. Small. Well, that's what we want. Exactly what we're looking for. Come on. And it is not. That is not what we're looking for. <laughs> so yeah, we're out here. I want to show you all the screen right here. That's what we're looking at. What kind of bottom? Got plenty of marks. We're 112 foot of water. So my last video, I said I would do another video going more in depth on how to catch vermilion snapper. And that's what we're gonna try to do today. So I'm gonna just kind of walk you through my setups, where the area that we're fishing, depth, all that good stuff. So hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's get to it. All right, so first things first, it is crucial to have either an anchor to sit on the spot or a Minn Kota or Rodan troll motor with the spot lock feature. These troll motors is probably the best invention that has came out in the marine industry in a long time and i've spoiled with it now so basically if you're not familiar with these troll motors you get on top of the spot you hit the anchor button and it will hold you within five feet of that spot so the setup that i'm going to be using today is just a simple little chicken rig setup 40, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader with a six ounce pyramid sinker there and using a shimano torium 30 with an aerial bottom rod here it's a light setup you don't need any kind of heavy gear to catch these fish uh you can if you want in my last video i was using electric reel but i was just being lazy that day so we're gonna go about halfway see if we can't get us the right fish there's a little bite that's what i'm looking for is little little thumps on the rod tip there all right let's see what we got here Oh, just got light. Really light. That is the right fish, baby. You got one. Nate, you've been down like four drops already. It's my first drop, y'all. First drop. That old dolphin, look at them. They like, is that my dinner? No. But there we go, y'all. First drop for me with the chicken rig. Vermilion snapper. I had a couple. Oh, look at that. He had both hooks in his mouth. <laughs> he, ate, he ate both pieces of the squid. I left it down there a little too long, I guess. <laughs> he was hungry. Ugh. But that is the first uh, keeper fish of the day here. We've been here maybe 10 minutes so far. That was my first drop. Had a couple people ask what the difference is between the red snapper and the vermilion snapper. Their eyes are different and they also have yellow on their, uh, on their body there. I mean, they have more slender shape, not as wide. So we're gonna throw him in the box. We got 19 more to catch. Here in Alabama, you can have 10 per person. And they have to be 10 inches to the tail length. All right, second drop going down. And what I like to do when I'm locating these fish, I like to count as I'm going down all the way to the bottom, how many seconds it takes. Depending on where the fish are at, you can count your way down so you want to fish halfway and it takes 10 seconds to get to the bottom you wait five seconds and then flip your uh, your bell or whatever it is that you're using and that way you know the depth that you're fishing at at that time go. got him got something. do you feel light yeah good good yeah Mr. Nate here is using the same rig as I am. A little like double it. rig. That's the right one, baby. Here we go. Get him in the boat. Show him off the camera there. That is a perfect size vermilion snapper there. Like I was saying, you can see that yellow on their fin there. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Boom, boom. Where it's supposed to be. Throw him out. <laughs> oh, you was about to, wasn't you? <laughs> As far as the bait that you use to catch these fish, it really doesn't matter. These fish will eat squid, shrimp, cut bait. I've caught them on finger mullet. Uh, just something small, as you can see, just a little small uh, one by one pieces of squid. And I am using circle hooks today. 
these trigger fish are pretty nuts at this spot as well so they will pick you off pretty quick if you're not paying attention that's a trigger fish probably all right come on is he on there? Yeah. No, that's the right fish. He's pretty light. No one ain't either. Just a baby trigger. Small one. Fooling me. Yep, there's a the fish. Come on. You gotta take it real easy with these fish. They have soft mouths. If you start really cranking on them, you'll pull that hook right out of their mouth if it's not hooked good. Yep. There we go. That's number three. Beautiful fish. Pretty much, once you find them, a good school, you can load up on them fairly quick, especially if you have two or three lines going in the water at a time. Yeet. Come on, there's a bite. Yep, there we go. Come on. He feels like it. Y'all, you know, these dolphins have been screwing the fishing up, pushing them all to the bottom. I think he, no, he's still on there. I think this might be the right fish. Yeah, come on. Poor Nate over here, he's, he's having a hard time. <laughs> yeah, baby. He's a little on the smaller side, but he is a keeper. They only have to be 10 inches, like I said. That'll make a sandwich. Got you that time, buddy. Yes, I did. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Fat one. <laughs> Fat one. Good looking fish. This is what we're having to deal with, y'all. Right here. Messing the bite up. Here we go. Gotcha. Stay on the hook this time, buddy. You don't eat my fish. He wants it. He's looking. Come on. He's very small. Look at him coming over here. <laughs> oh, that's not good. He sees it. Is that a snapper? It's, it's a red snapper. <laughs> He's eyeballing him. I'm sorry, buddy, but I got to throw you back. I can't help what happens when I throw you back. I apologize. Look, it's in his mouth over there. Oh, no. Look. Oh, no. He's playing with it. Golly. There's nothing we can do about it, y'all. I mean, we have to throw them back. They're going to get them regardless. After 30 minutes of re-rigging. <laughs> nope. Yeah, <laughs> Just because you brought them up so fast. Yay! He's some minnow, baby. He's legal, though. Is he? He's 10 inches. Let's make sure. 9, 10, 11. We're getting something going. He's just thinking about moving spots because these dolphins are just really messing the bite up, but... They're starting to show back on the screen here. We're gonna give it, give it a couple more minutes. Oh, you got a double jack. Oh. No, a jack and a trigger. <laughs> oh yeah. What do we have here? Feel like one? He kind of does. Must have just had a school come through. Yes, sir. Got one? Yeah. Come on, Nate. This is my first, second drop here. <laughs> my bad, man. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's one we want. Yes, sir. There we go. Hey. See, there ain't no need to go out two, three hundred foot of water to catch these fish. <laughs> If he stays on. Yeah, baby. Got us a minnow. He's a keeper, though. Looks like he's got lipstick on.
Alrighty guys, so as y'all can see in the title of this video, I have some pretty cool underwater footage for y'all to see at this particular spot that we were fishing. If you're interested or wondering how I get this footage, I'll put a link at the top right of the screen here. Y'all can see the rig that I use that I strap my GoPro on and drop it down to get this footage. So as y'all can see right here, the water has a green tint to it. It's not the clearest, but we can still see plenty of fish on this spot here. And what I like to do with this rig is I drop it down real slow. That way you can uh, see the fish in the water column before you hit the bottom. Uh, I'm sure if I added a different lens to the GoPro camera, you'd probably be able to make out the colors a little bit better, but all those schools of fish right there, I'd say probably 90% of them are vermilion snapper. And you can tell whenever I flinch the rig, they, they kind of spook and swim off. But I mean, this is just hundreds and hundreds of fish on this spot. And I honestly didn't know the structure that we're fishing. This is a public spot. And uh, I find out when I hit the bottom, I actually dropped my rig right on top of a, a pipe culvert or a rock or some sort. But y'all, look at all these fish right here. This is crazy. Very healthy spot. You can see a couple Almaco jacks, some juvenile amber jacks in there. But yeah, right here, I just hit bottom <laughs> and I landed it right on top of a, I think that's a, a pipe culvert or something. Let's see, there's a mangrove snapper, loads of vermilion snapper couple reds yeah right there you can see it's like some kind of piping but hopefully y'all can tell the difference between the red snapper and the vermilions if you can't catch a fish right here you ain't doing something right <laughs> just loads of life I, oh i seen a lane snapper in there yeah, spinning the only thing about this rig you can't determine the way the, the camera is looking, obviously, I like to pick it up and drop it back down so it'll turn. Yeah, just crazy amounts of life. I wish the water was a little bit clearer. I'm starting to pick it back up right now. I was kind of scared I was going to get hung up. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you'd like to see any more of this underwater footage, y'all drop a comment below. Let me know next time I get out there, we get some calm seas and some clear water. I will definitely be doing this again if y'all like it. But as always, we'll see you back out on the water next time.